but uh, we split this in half. This is not a full width, so you can just measure out, tear your cotton, and then take a layer off so you don't have too much cotton, unless you want to build it up really high. But the thicker it gets, the more difficult it becomes to deal with it. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to glue this down. I don't like this floating like this. I'll just use a little bit. You don't have to use a lot. I'm going to glue this down, and don't glue down your cotton. Just lay it on top, because it's, it's not going to work. It, the bottom will stick, and the top will tear. So I'll get back to you as soon as I glue down this foam and start situating the, the cotton on top, and I'll show you. Okay, I glued down the foam to the, the um, plywood. Incidentally, this is just two pieces of plywood with blocks in the corner. That's all it is. It's hollow in the center, as you can hear that, it's hollow. But I glued uh, the foam down to the top part of the plywood, and I did not glue this, as I said I wouldn't, to the foam, the cotton that is, and I feathered it out. So what I did, it was hanging over the edge, just put your hand here and simply pull it where you want it to stop. And I try to get as clean line as I possibly can. I was debating a couple of minutes ago if I should put anything on the sides. I think I should because this is only 16th of an inch. It's so thin and it feels a little, uh, the, the cardboard that's underneath here from the factory is a little uh, ripply. So I, I want to give it a little bit more of a softer feel than that because the top's feeling pretty good, but the sides is still feeling a little rough. But you don't want to go too thick either because it's going to uh, ruin the dimensions or the, the look of your, your corners here. So you still want that nice 90 degree as much as possible. So we're just looking for a duplication of a, a thin um, material like this foam is doing here. So you could use the Daycron, which I showed you earlier, but in this case I'm just going to measure the width of the band, take it off my roll of cotton, which I'm going to show you right now. Now you don't need this much cotton. Like I said, probably for a homeowner, homeowner job, just get some uh, Daycron from a store that would cover the whole thing. I'm going to use this cotton here. This is how it comes to us in the shop. Like this. It's got paper that divides it like so. I'm going to grab my tape measure real quick. I need approximately about four inches. Everything's eyeballing on this. Just grab this four inch and just tear it down like this. Just like so. I can probably get two layers. Well, I can definitely get two layers, but I'd like to get more out of this. You gotta be careful because you get one really thin and one not. But they make this, it's put in layers. So I think that's pretty good. We'll need two of these. Just simply hold this like that. Four inch. Duplicate what I just now did. Makes that simple. Just like that. Now, how are you gonna put the cotton on the side of the uh, ottoman? You can uh, take a little bit of glue and put it on there. If you want to do that, that's fine or you can just staple in the corners, it should be fine. It's not, it's not gonna go anywhere once you get that cut top covered in on there. So before I have you leave, just for a second while I put the sides on, I wanna show you something that we could have done before we did the cotton on top, but still now is just as fine. I'm gonna flip this over for the bottom, like so. I'm gonna take our tape measure, we're going to grab a pencil, and find your center point. So that's 18, we got nine. Obviously, it should be square. If it's not, put it back to the curve. And this here is 25, so it's 12 and a half, like that. Now you know your center points as to when you're going to put on the top cover. So what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to put on these cotton, this cotton on the sides, and then we're going to come back. We're going to lay out her fabric, cut it, and start stapling, and get this thing covered. So now you see that I have the other cotton on here, on this side rather. Now I figure I'd show you me putting this on here. The other side, I just simply set it up there obviously. Hung it over a little bit because this is longer than what the ottoman is. You know the good thing about Daycron though, is it doesn't pill like this. It's a, it's, a little, it's a little easier to work with for sure. It is. I just happen to like cotton, that's why I use it. As much as possible. I still use Daycron too, so obviously I have some in my shop. And just pull this off like that. What we don't want, we don't want it to get too bulky right here because it's just going to be a mess. So we're trying to put on the top cover and make the corners. But it's not as thick as it appears. This is still very thin. And you see I'm just simply stapling right in the side. 
top should come down over the side. If you tear it, just simply put a patch in. Just don't make it a ball. Make it as flat as possible and feather it down. Where the other one go? Right here. And just feather it down. And you can't see what I'm doing here, but you saw what I did there. I'm just duplicating it. Out. You hold both sides when you tear it. Okay. Just like that. It's looking pretty good. The feathering needs a little more work. So I'm not going to bore you with the feathering. Let me feather this out just a little bit more. All I'm trying to do is make it become one. That's the goal, is just keep feathering out slowly until they all mold into one piece that uh, has no lumps or dips and things like that. So let me finish doing that and I'll come right back to you. Okay, so this is the customer's fabric that we're going to use. We don't have a whole lot. And what I did is I folded it over, like so. Salvage the salvage, here's the salvage part. Folded it in half, took my scissors, and made a small notch there on this side and then did the same for that side and then put it where it's even together salvage to salvage folded it over and made a notch there so it just makes it pretty much square now I did do the cotton feathering on here it's, it's looking good and incidentally I want to tell you any extra cotton that you have if you're going to continue to do work around uh, the pieces around your house save this cotton not only is it uh, new and, and, and uh, good to keep it out of the landfill but you can use these to stuff up in corners of your cushions that seem to when people sit on the end they, they get matted or pushed down and you just take a little small wad and push it up in there just about every upholster I've ever met always does this so it makes it look uh, complete and does all the 90 degrees or what have you so Save this. Put it in a bag. You'll use it for the future. Don't think you're throwing that away. Okay, so now we're going to take the fabric here. Like I said, I have my notches. We made the marks on the bottom of the ottoman. Put that down like that. Now, I'm glad that I did use the cotton, but we're pretty close now because we made the ottoman fuller. So she had barely enough. And then I added more volume by the cotton. That's okay, because we want to do that. It gives it a fresh new look. This particular print here, you can see, has three patterns going right here. So we notched it right in the middle here. I think that's a pretty nice balance there. It's pretty good, right? Fold this down and pull it down like this, or hold that down rather. Flip it over like that. Your cotton shouldn't have gone anywhere. And here's a little trick. Take your staple. It's going to be hard with the push staple, the manual one. It's a lot easier with this one. And put your staple.